Okay. Um, my name is Tom Hopper. I teach 7th and 8th grade social studies here at Chippewa Middle School in Okemos. And I've been asked to do a little presentation on a smart board. Um, I am lucky enough to have a smart board installed in my classroom, which is really kind of cool. Uh, but what is a smart board? I think that's what you want to know. So essentially, a smart board is an extension of my computer. So I have a normal little computer screen over there in the corner that you can't see. And I also have a projector here that's a requirement of a smart board, and it shoots an image onto basically a big digitized board and then whatever you can imagine doing on your computer with your mouse you would do on the smart board with your hand or a tool so if I wanted to open up you know a word document I would do it that way if I wanted to open up a PowerPoint or you know an Excel spreadsheet or anything I would do it just by tapping on the screen with my finger you can open up any document on this that you could open up on your computer um, along with that though smart board which is the smart board is actually a brand name for a particular product. It's really called an interactive whiteboard, but they're kind of become becoming known as smart boards, kind of like you use Kleenex when it's really tissue. Uh, well, part of that is this notebook software, and it shoots up, and then it replaces the whiteboard that you've got in your classroom. And here you can do you know limitless things here. You you're writing on it with a pen. You can write on it with your hand like that. Anything that touches the screen will operate with whatever tool you've used. So if I want to erase, I can pick up the eraser, I can erase that, or I can just as easily use my hand to erase, which you kind of do probably more frequently than anything else. Um, but it has different software built in. So like for example, if I want to pull up a political cartoon that I have stored on my drive, I can do that. I can, you know, point out, you know, maybe who this guy is and what's in this document and it kind of brings pictures and sounds to life for the kids. Sounds if you have speakers hooked up, which I do. You can write on things. You can save what you've written. You can delete what you've written. It's no big deal. It will also hold different pages. So if I wanted to move on through the lesson maybe and talk about um, you know, Lincoln's impact and maybe I only want to deal with you know, 18 59 through 1862, and we can talk about that. If I wanted to go back to that political cartoon, I can pull that right back up, and I can have limitless pages saved on here. So if you're working throughout a lesson and the kid says, well, and I really don't understand what you said back there about the, you know, the Stephen Douglas debates, if I've got it saved on here, I can go back to that page, bring that right back up with whatever notes I've written on there, or the students have generated because they'll come up and use this as well. So this is the sort of the smart board software that's built in. It's frequently used, I'll use it for PowerPoint. So for example, if I've got a PowerPoint going here on the temperance movement and then I got a wireless mouse which is kind of handy to use, but you can roll through this. I can move throughout the classroom. I can have different students come up and interact with the board if I need to. And maybe we want to bring this picture to life. So this is a picture of drinking and drunkards and the effect on that. And this is leading into the temperance movement. So it's kind of interesting to analyze different pictures from different times. And there's in the devil's clutches and what happens to you when you get to the drink there. So anyway, um, it's a really handy tool to have in the classroom because uh, with today's kids, I mean, they're so used to more of an interactive lifestyle um, with multimedia, you know, streaming videos and, you know, the instant messaging, the texting that they're doing, um, the YouTube, of course. This thing really helps to kind of deliver the education, deliver the material in a way that they're more used to seeing from the home front.